All right, special edition Monday sit down, and it's a special edition for a special case, and that case is Mike Dean because he is an absolute imbecile. Uh, I don't like to often criticise referees and blame them for the outcome of a game. But in this situation, this is a man who wants this sort of attention. He's not in this job because he loves the game and he wants to referee and he loves to be in that environment. He's in this game so that at the end of the game, like we're doing at the moment, we'll be like, that Mike Dean, man, he either, oh, what a decision that was, or he's an idiot and he cost us that game. Regardless which way we are talking about him, as long as we're talking about him, that's his job. He's done. That's what he wants to be. He wants to be the center of attention. And it gets under my skin. Because referees, they have some, they have one of the hardest jobs in the game. They have to take a ridiculous amount of criticism. They have to take abuse from fans, players, coaches. Because they're in there and they're often the person that people blame rather than blaming themselves. Oh, we lost. All right, it's the referee's fault. So I get it. They come under a huge amount of scrutiny. And most of the time, it's not merited. But in this situation, Mike Dean absolutely deserves the criticism. So he sends off Faguli 15 minutes into the game for a tackle that if you're going to send him off, then you send off Phil Jones because he seems to be going studs showing a little bit more so than Faguli and looks a little bit rash. Both of them, I think they've gone for the ball. Faguli's late. Sends him off 15 minutes in. That immediately changes the outcome of the game. It puts West Ham on the back foot. Manchester United grow in confidence and they go on and win the game. Slavin Bilic has every right to be pissed off and slam Mike Dean. So did Nal Quinn in the, in the punditry booth. Everyone else slammed him. Why? Because this guy loves this. This is the same guy, I do I have to remind you, that celebrated. Celebrated when someone scored because why? Because he allowed advantage. It ran away like this. Because he wants us to talk about him. This is a guy who wants the limelight of football. So I've got a, a message to you, Mike Dean. If you wanted all that glory, you wanted everything that goes along with the fantastic game of football, then you should have been a fucking player, mate. And that's not to sound rash and to take away from referees. But there's a reason there's only a certain amount of people in this world that become players. Those talented few. Because that was, that's their dream. They want to be the centre of attention. They want to be part of the game. Your job as a referee, which I know is a very difficult one, is to allow for the game to flow. It's to make sure that no one gets hurt. It's to make sure that it's a fair outcome. You're not doing that. You want everyone to be talking about you. So there you go. You've got everyone talking about you. And I'm going to tell you why. You're a shambolic referee. You want everyone to be talking about you because you're an arrogant individual. He, he said to a player, do you want to be sent off? He, off? he threatened them because he was looking at them. He's an arrogant individual. He should not be refereeing at the highest level. And I'm supposedly a Manchester, uh, Manchester United sympathiser. I should be happy that this result has happened. But no, I hate when referees do this because they do have a hard job. And I'm going to reiterate that. But when you're in there solely for the individual fact that you want people talking about you, you shouldn't be refereeing. Do you know what he is? He reminds me of, right? This is a little bit of a weird comparison, but just bear with me. It's like a plumber, right? A plumber comes in to make sure things flow, to make sure that your water's working, that you can go and take a shower, all these things that go on with your house, right? If there's a leak, yeah, you've got to fix it. But do you know what he does as a plumber? He waits until everything's done and he's going to break into your house just as you're taking a shower. Let me flush the toilet. Let me mix things up. Let me just go in there and cause a little bit of controversy and see what happens, you know? He wants to just have people fluctuate towards him regardless of whether it's positive, negative, everything else. That whole footage at the end of the year that we ran last year of him running away celebrating. Look, Luna's even pissed off at him. Running away celebrating. He wanted that. He's probably sitting there with his popcorn like, they're talking about me. When he puts on his refereeing uniform and shines that bald and upper his, he's out there because he thinks that the camera's on him. This is his moment. This is my moment to shine. I'm in the limelight. Well, I've got something to tell you, mate. Referees, that's not what your job is. Go and be a movie star. Go and try. You should have stuck in a little bit more at training and tried to be a player. I have so much appreciation for referees, but you, you don't represent referees, my friend. You represent an egotistical individual that does not have a place in football. That is what I think about you. Manchester United win the game. Credit to them. They're, they have an unbeaten streak that is very impressive. They look good. I feel bad for West Ham because that is not a fair outcome. Because of that referee. That's all my thoughts today on football on the Monday sit down. Subscribe. Tweet me at Francis underscore Maxwell if you agree, disagree on Instagram, Francis Maxwell host. And if I see Mike Dean in the street, I'll tell him. Straight to his face. You've no place in this game, mate.